The first step for a reliable avian influenza laboratory diagnosis is to have the appropriate samples. These include blood samples for serological diagnosis and tracheal or cloacal swabs for virological diagnosis. Necessary equipment for blood sampling consists of 2.5 ml or 1 ml syringes according to the size of the bird, 5 ml polypropylene tubes for blood collection, a test tube rack for support, cotton and 70% alcohol solution for better visualization of the wing vein, thin swabs for trachea swabbing and large swabs for cloaca swabbing. Note that synthetic swabs are preferred to wooden ones, which may contain viral inhibitory or toxic substances. Collection of the blood is easily done from the brachial vein, that is the largest vein under the wing. The bird is placed on a table, set on its side and the wing is lifted. Hold the bird by its feet and remove some feathers around the vein. Visualize the vein by moistening the skin with water or 70% alcohol solution. Insert the needle into the vein and slowly draw blood. Remove the needle and apply pressure to the vein for a few seconds. This will help minimize development of large hematomas which commonly occur in poultry. Fill the collection tube to almost half of its volume. Blood should be allowed to clot at room temperature for a minimum of one hour. Separate the serum from the blood clot. Test the serum within 48 hours, otherwise store it at minus 20 degrees Celsius. To properly carry out swabbing, it is recommended to calculate the number of swabs needed prior to commencing. Dispense 1 ml of transport medium into each swab collection tube. Transport medium should be at a pH of between 7 to 7.4 and should contain the appropriate antibiotics. Moisten the swab with viral transport medium and insert it into the trachea and gently rub the mucosa. For cloacal swabbing insert the entire head of the swab into the cloaca by applying gentle pressure. Rotate it two or three times to dislodge epithelial cells. Shake off large pieces of feces and insert the swab into the tube. Swabs for RT-PCR analysis can be sent dry to the lab. Remember to record the necessary information such as farm name, number sample and date of collection on the tube. Transport of samples to the laboratory. Swabs should be chilled on ice immediately after collection and for transport to the laboratory. If transport within 48 hours is not guaranteed, samples should be transported on dry ice or stored at minus 70 degrees Celsius.